For being the Earth's only permanent natural satellite, the Moon has played an integral part in human culture, mythology and literature. It has formed the basis of many poems and other artworks, and has been at the centre of a number of ancient belief systems. It has been almost 50 years since the first humans set foot on the Moon. So here are 10 facts about this natural orbiting wonder. 1. The Moon is the largest planetary satellite relative to the planet that it orbits in our solar system. It's the fifth largest overall. It's about 3,474 kilometres across, compared to Earth's 12,742 kilometres, so about 27% the diameter of Earth. 2. It takes the Moon 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes and 12 seconds to travel around the Earth, the so-called orbital period. This is about the same time it takes the Moon to spin once on its axis. Consequently, we only ever see the same side of the Moon from Earth. 3. The grey patches are called seas, or maria in Latin. Early astronomers mistook them for actual seas, hence the name, but they are actually ancient lava flows. 22 of them were named in 1651 by Italian astronomer Giovanni Battista Riccioli. For example, Mare Tranquillitatis, the Sea of Tranquility, or Mare Imbrium, the Sea of Rains. Due to its size, one was classified as an ocean, Oceanus Procellarum, the Ocean of Storms. 4. The Moon looks slightly different to viewed from different places on Earth. Viewing it from the Southern Hemisphere, the Ocean of Storms is on the bottom right, whereas in the Northern Hemisphere, it is on the top left. Highlighted here is the so-called Man in the Moon, viewed from both hemispheres. 5. NASA's Apollo 11 was the first space flight to land humans on the Moon, July 20th, 1969. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed the Eagle Lunar Module on the top edge of the Sea of Tranquility and took a two and a quarter hour moonwalk the next day. A third astronaut, Michael Collins, remained in the control module and picked up his colleagues later, his Buzz being photographed by Neil, who can be seen in the reflection of the visor. Buzz released an emotional statement regarding Neil Armstrong's death and the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. He wrote, I'm deeply saddened by the passing of my good friend and space exploration companion, Neil Armstrong today. I truly hoped that on July 20th, 2019, Neil, Mike and I would be standing together to commemorate the 50th anniversary of our moon landing, as we also anticipated the continued expansion of humanity into space that our small mission helped make possible. Regrettably, this is not to be. Neil will most certainly be there with us in spirit. 6. The three Apollo 11 astronauts brought back three new minerals from the Sea of Tranquility, one of them being called Armalcolite, which is named using the first few letters of each of the astronauts' surnames. It is a titanium-rich mineral that was later identified at various locations on Earth and has since been synthesised in the laboratory. The other two minerals are Tranquilityite and Pyroxferroite. 7. 12 astronauts in total have walked on the Moon's surface. Their names are in white in this photo. Some of them were not present, however. 8. Apollo 17 was the final mission of NASA's Apollo program and was the last time humans set foot on the Moon, December 14, 1972. They landed on the Sea of Serenity and footsteps and the Moon buggy can still be seen at the site. 9. The Moon's phases are created by its position in relation to the Sun. A waxing crescent moon is lit up from the left, as seen from the Southern Hemisphere. The line between light and dark is called the Lunar Terminator, and travels from left to right if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, or right to left in the Northern Hemisphere. The same features of the Moon are being lit up, it's just that our perspective is different. This is the first quarter, the waxing gibbous moon, and of course, the full moon. And lastly, 10. The Moon Illusion When the Moon is lower in the sky, it looks a lot bigger. This is most noticeable during a full moon as it rises above the horizon at sunset. But actually, it's just an optical illusion. You can test this out by holding a pencil at arm's length when the Moon is low on the horizon, and then doing it again later when the Moon is high in the sky. It will be the same size. The explanation of this illusion is still being debated, but the most common explanations include the apparent distance hypothesis, where our brains think that the Moon is farther away on the horizon, and the relative size hypothesis, where the perceived size of the Moon depends not only on its retinal size, but also on the size of the objects in its immediate visual environment, for example the trees or the mountains. 
Anyway, thanks for watching 10 Facts About the Moon, 50th Anniversary of the Moon Landing. I know there are other facts about the Moon circulating the internet, but many of which have not yet been proven. For example, the full Moon sends people crazy. And I also know that I've included facts that some people don't believe. For example, whether the Moon Landing actually occurred or not. Either way, the Moon has played a pivotal role in human culture and mythology, and will continue to fascinate onlookers for many millennia to come.